back with another video and today guys i'll be telling y'all what abilities i think you should be running at this point in month but before we get started make sure you leave a like comment subscribe roll to 1k and let's get into the video now for the offensive side of the ball i run 13 out of 14 ap um i could potentially put edge protector on one of my linemen but to start off with the linemen on your tackles i definitely would suggest you get an edge protector it's one AP, and for somebody who has that elite pass rushing abilities and stuff like that, it'll slow them down to where they just won't instantly come through. So that's an ability I run. That's probably the only ability I run on my O-line, except for maybe Identifier, but that I normally run that on the center, because I think the AP for that one is cheaper. So those probably are the only two ones i would suggest you could do nasty streak but i don't think it works as op as it used to now on my tight end or on your tight end wherever you're running probably a good one would be tight end apprentice if your quarterback doesn't have high route master but besides that i would say probably um uh, matchup nightmare i mean mid out elite and mid in elite and i run deep out elite in the second slot i'm only going to use mid and deep so i would definitely sell those if you know you could throw a deep and your tight end get open a lot i would just have it on him and if you want to go the cheapest route ap wise look for um whatever archetype they are and see which one is cheaper because either um it's going to be one ap or two ap right here see like for mid and elite it's um two ap where for mid out is one so it's based probably on your tight end. So just pay close attention to because some slots give it to you cheaper as well. Deep out elite on both of my receivers. Calvin being one of them. Um, he has 98 speed, 99 jump. So I'm definitely not afraid to throw a deep ball with him. And um, yeah, it does cost two AP with him because he's a physical, which sucks. But, you know. It, it works on him very great. Somebody like um, the physical receivers because they're bound to go up and go get the ball if need be. And red zone threat, I haven't really been able to use this ability too much. So it's like you can if you want to, but I've used this more than I have used red zone threat. I'll say that. But that's my play style. Yours could be you slow it down and then you need somebody to score in the red zone Calvin if he's one on one he's going to catch it so I try to double up on abilities it might not work like that but I feel like if I throw him a 20 yard go ball and it's outside the numbers these both should activate so I just be trying to combine stuff and see what work and what don't but on my other receiver I have a deep out on him as well if somebody's double team my Calvin, I'll switch it and go to Marvin and Devin Hester. Um, I have him with Route Tech just to be my boy to break people. I like I have him on corner routes or like post corners. Like he be on those routes to where he can bust his boy and get open real quick. Um, normally I have Calvin and Marvin doing something that's having them using that ability. And my running back, I don't run an ability on my running back because of my quarterback. But I'll explain that. But with my running back, I will suggest you run evasive because it gives you the juke and spin, I think. But if evasive is not good for you, I definitely would suggest using spin cycle. Um, backfield master is a good one if your quarterback doesn't have hot route master. So this one is great for um, catching out the backfield. But this is the one where you get the routes and catching. And this one is good if you don't have a high route master quarterback. But if you know you don't really need to use your running back either as much on them extra routes, I wouldn't get this one. I would just go get the mismatch. But a uh, jukebox is an, a good one, but AP doesn't get it. Oh, yeah, yes, he does. He gets evasive right here. So this gets you to spin and juke instead of you having to go get jukebox and spin cycle. So this is a two-in-one with evasive. That's why I would say get evasive if you want it to 
to be a person that you know gonna run and spin and juke. But if you just a passing boy, you know, you can go with this innovative. I know my quarterback, it only cost me a lot of AP because I'm using Derrick Henry. But if you was to use anybody else that's not a scrambler, um, this AP wouldn't be this high probably. Most people, if you're using like a Dan Marino or something, this won't be this high. So, well, you won't have Escape Artist, but you will have Pass Lead. I think the best one in the game is Pass Lead. And you get it cheaper than Gunslinger, and they do the same thing. Like, people don't want to admit it. But, like, it is a slight difference, but it's like, I think Pass Lead is better. Well, on my end, Pass Lead is better. But some good badges, I would say, putting on your quarterback that I think is good would be um, Roman Deadeye. So, like, um, if I wasn't to run Escape Artist, I definitely would put Roman Deadeye on Derrick Henry with, and run that with Pass Lead. Like, if you're a person who is good with the 96 speed or 97 with the 15K training, um, I would say definitely run Roman Deadeye as a backup because um, Roman Deadeye allows you to throw the ball perfect if you let go RT no matter what, and then you don't get sacked as often. And I don't think Bulldozer and some you'll really be running with Derrick Henry as much. Unless you're a person that runs like triple option and stuff like that, then that's when those abilities come in good for you. But in my case, it doesn't. So I wouldn't suggest it. But um, Bulldozer, if you know you're going to run. And I don't use X Factors, but obviously Trust will be a good one for him or Freight Train. On the defensive side of the ball, how I play is um I do not have max as well. I have 12 out of 14, but you want to try to max out your AP as much as you can. Now in my case, a lot of people do not run the ball on me, so I don't feel the need to put abilities on my linebackers. Like I don't even use my linebackers if I'm being honest. So it's like they just here for Lions Kim. But as you can see, I make sure both of my safeties have a uh, acrobat because um they're probably like I play cover two, so I'm gonna just say they're gonna be deep and I need them to react if my corner somehow just give up on his own. So if they can't pick it, I at least need them to attempt to swat it, and that's something I would say you will want on your players. Make sure your safeties have acrobat. If you can't get abilities on all your players, make sure your safeties have them at least. Because those are going to be the ones that save you deep. Next up, I try to um, have abilities on my corner number one and corner number three. I do have an ability on my corner number two. But these are the main two that I would suggest you have abilities on. Because these, for me at least, they are the ones that get attacked the most on my team. So I made sure I put acrobat on them as well. You could put one step ahead or you could put this zone, the flat zone uh, knockout ability on them. Um, if you have that on a player, no matter what, if the, the player with that ability lights up, the person drops the ball. Um, it doesn't matter. They can bump them in the ball coming out. So that's why I run that on Sherman because I know he's going to be in the flat zone. So I keep that over him let's be real you really don't need d lineman abilities um ea has a broken game right now so people will run commit glitch but i have a uh, under pressure so that when i uh, qb contain people's uh, quarterback he's coming in that contain and if they run towards his side or he gets back there it causes them to throw like a wobbly ball and then we waiting on our dbs to react and get onto the ball but inside stuff is definitely two abilities I would say have on, on your D-line and no outsiders. Um, my players don't get it because of the type of team I'm running. So that's also another reason why I don't have certain abilities. But yeah, no outsiders is a great one in inside stuff. If you know you've been playing online, a lot of players that's been running the ball, invest into inside stuff. If you haven't, or they have running it outside instead of inside, get no outsiders. Or if you can afford both, just get your D line built up and just have your corners out there with nothing on it and just 
hope your D line can win you the game. It, it's really based on how your games is going. So I would just tell y'all to take time out and just think about how your game's been going, and then base your abilities based on that as well. Because of my games, how they go, I need passing abilities. I don't, I don't play people that run the ball. So I enjoy that because I prefer to play somebody who pass the ball because it helps me learn plays and all that. So that's why I do it and, and my thing. And on special teams, I don't run abilities at all. And we just got Devin Hester and Agnew back there. Uh, I would say if you want to run a building a kicker, a steady kicker or focus kicker, and pro and these are uh, are important as well. Strategy, strategy matters, and just because you put it in your lineup does not mean it's activated. I learned that the hard way. You have to upgrade it with training, and obviously I have it done now. But I was wondering why the stats wasn't adding to my players until I realized you have to actually come in here and put this in there. But yeah. Make sure if you can get as many blue strategy cards as possible and max those out as y'all can see I got one for speed for my running back so it gives my running back that plus one speed on all that extra stats on the card and I wish it was for all players but it's only for halfbacks but hopefully we can eventually find one on the defensive side that's all uh, players with speed but yes this is the abilities I would suggest y'all guys to run on um, offense and defense um, X factors, I'm not gonna say they're not important, but I don't think X factors is really a big deal. I mean, double me and bazooka on offense and on defense, I would say probably selfless and um, universal coverage on your safeties. But besides that, hopefully, this video was helpful for you guys and y'all can understand um, how to build your team and what abilities was going to work for you so that you can improve on your games and head to head and get more wins online if it was helpful make sure you leave a like and comment and i'll catch you guys in the next video i am out